So earlier today, Nintendo issued a cease and desist to the big house, which is a major Super Smash Brothers tourney that happens every year with both Ultimate and Melee. And I'm going to try and keep this brief. Um, and I've mentioned this in the past that I have a platform and if I can, I want to speak on things and I want to make my voice heard because while I create a lot of Nintendo content, and I play Smash on this channel, I don't always agree with Nintendo's values as a company, and this is one of those times. So the message from the Big House is, the Big House is heartbroken to share we've received a cease and desist from Nintendo of America Incorporated to cancel our upcoming online event. We were informed that we do not have the permission to host or broadcast the event, primarily due to the usage of Slippy. Sadly, all of our competitions are affected. Uh, if you don't know what Slippy is, it is a software that was created by... I don't know if it's one person or a group of people, but it is basically a way to play, I don't know if it's lagless or latency free or very, very low latency melee online. Now, given the state of the world and a global pandemic, you know, still raging, at least here in North America, I don't know about the rest of the world, there is no way for this community to exist locally at least at this time. And Super Smash Bros. Melee, a game that basically has to be played locally. The Nintendo GameCube didn't have online, or, I mean, it did, but for very few games. I don't play Melee anymore, and it's probably been a while since I have played Melee, so you're probably wondering why the hell is Chalk talking about this. Well, it has to do with Smash, it has to do with Nintendo, and as I've said before, I want to make my voice heard if I have the opportunity. Just because I make Nintendo content and I'm a fan of the company and the product they produce, it doesn't mean I always agree with their company policies and values, and it just it seems so archaic, and I feel like we're not going to make any true progress with Nintendo until figure... I mean, I don't know where this call came from, but until higher up figureheads are one day changed or retire and we have new people coming in that understand the landscape of these communities. And to close off the statement from the Big House, we are forced to comply with the order and cancel the Big House online for both Melee and Ultimate. Refund information will be sent shortly. We apologize to those impacted. It just, it sucks to see because you really want Nintendo to embrace these kinds of things. You want them to embrace these communities and the love that they have for a game that came out 20 years ago that still has a very large competitive scene, but it just, it's not going to happen. They don't get it. To which they issued a pretty tone-deaf statement. Nintendo appreciates the love and dedication the fighting game community has for its Super Smash Bros. series. We have partnered with numerous Super Smash Bros. tournaments in the past and have hosted our own online and offline tournaments for the game. And we plan to continue that support in the future. Unfortunately, the Big House Tournament announced plans to host an online tournament for Super Smash Bros. Melee that requires use of illegal copied versions of the game in conjunction with a mod called Slippy during their online event. Nintendo therefore contacted the tournament organizers to ask them to stop. They refused, leaving Nintendo no choice but to step in to protect its intellectual property and brands. Nintendo cannot condone or allow piracy of its intellectual property. Now, the current source of this is from Patrick Stanley on Twitter, who is the game's editorial director for Watch Ven. Now, it seems the issue here is about ROMs and emulation, and I am not a lawyer. I'm not going to claim to be. I'm not going to claim to know everything about the situation. Whether or not Slippy is unauthorized software, there has to be some middle ground here. Scorched Earth can't be the only way to go. It, it's just, it's hard to say Nintendo cares about their fans and doesn't find a way to compromise. I understand wanting to protect your intellectual property, but Nintendo couldn't turn the other cheek on this one and realize that, again, Melee is a game that has to be played in person and in the current state of the world, that is impossible. It just, it feels like every time you take a step forward with Nintendo, they take three steps back or they shoot themselves in the foot that was taking the step forward. And a story that always comes to mind is how Sonic Mania came to be, which is a game by fans for fans. Sega hired a fan or a group of fans. I know Christian Whitehead was the lead programmer. Uh, there may have been a team of others as well, but he was hired to do remastered ports of Sonic and Sonic 2 and Sonic CD for mobile, and he ended up presenting a project that turned into Sonic Mania. Now, there may be more complications to it than that. It's not that straightforward. I don't know the full story. What I'm trying to say here, what I'm alluding to is I wish Nintendo would take those same steps and would say, hey, you're doing a cool thing and you like our product. 
come work for us or let us help you with that thing. Another story, Arc System Works discovered somebody who was creating rollback netcode for an older game of theirs and invited them to come work for the company. But specifically what I'm talking about when I say Nintendo likes to take a step forward and then shoot themselves in the foot or just, you know, decide to run backwards is when they remove the Nintendo Creator Program, which they were taking revenue from creators on YouTube and possibly on Twitch, I'm not sure if it was streaming as well, who were making content with Nintendo games. But this was abolished in December 2018, like just as my channel was coming up, and I remember it being a really good thing. And it was like, finally, Nintendo understands something. And then they go and they do things like this. If the threat here is this will cannibalize our sales in Ultimate, then maybe fix Ultimates online so people have something to play. I, I mean, there's more complaints than just about the online for Ultimate, and I'm not here to speak on that because I'm not a professional player. I don't really attend tournaments, but I know there are gripes. I enjoy the game. I enjoy the game for what it is. I play it casually. I also make content on it, as you all know. But if Nintendo wants to pigeonhole you into playing this product, create a better experience for someone to play online because we can't go to tournaments right now. The bottom line here is let Melee players and people that love Melee play Melee. Please stop hindering them because they have no other way to play. I don't know if there's an official petition floating around. I've been looking. I don't see anything, uh, but there is a lot of buzz on Twitter right now. If you want to get in on that, the hashtag that is being used is hashtag free Melee, and I agree. Free Melee. Let these players play. If you're not going to provide any support to the scene, don't get in the way and block it. As always, let me know what you think down in the comment section. Sorry, I kind of had a, I got a little heated here, but it, it's frustrating, but not surprising to see from Nintendo because this isn't the first time they've done this and it certainly won't be the last. I hope that I can signal boost this and we can get more people talking about it. I know other big creators, especially professional Melee players are talking about it. Nintendo, please, we're begging you. Drop the archaic company values and start supporting those who support you. That's it. Have a good one.